Hello, good morning viewers. In this tutorial, we are going to provide a solution to these six problems. We have three equations and three inequalities. And all of these six problems, they are in indicial form. All right, let's start with equations. From our knowledge of indicial equations, whenever you have common bases from the left to the right hand side, you are always free to equate the powers. So we are going to try as much as we can to make sure we have common bases from left to right. Let's start with the first one. The first one, we have two power x and to the right hand side we have 16. We want to find that value of x that can satisfy this equation. But we know that we can raise 2 to a power of 4 to be equal to 16. So 2 power x is equal to 2 power 4. Since we have common bases, we can say the powers are also the same. Therefore, x is equal to 4. And we can test it here. From here, we can say 2 multiplied by 2 is 4, multiplied by 2 is 8, multiplied by 2 is 16, and hence, x is equal to 4. From here, x is equal to 4. Let's take the second one. We have 3 raised to the power of x minus 2, and to the right we have 27 raised to the power of x minus 6. We know that 3 if raised to the power of 3, it will give us 27. Therefore, we can write 27 as 3 power 3. To the left hand side, we still have 3 power x minus 2. And to the right hand side, we have 3 power of 3, but we still have another power, which is x minus 6. Then we distribute. 3 multiplied by x is 3x, and 3 multiplied by 6 is 18. Therefore, since we have common bases, we can equate the powers. To the left hand side, we have x minus 2, and to the right hand side, we have 3x minus 18. Bring all those with x to the left and all those constants to the right. To the left we have x. If this one crosses over it becomes negative. We have negative 3x. To the right hand side we still have 18. If this one crosses over it becomes positive 2. To the left hand side we have a negative 2x and to the right hand side we have negative 16. Divide both sides by negative 2 to obtain the value of x. Negative 16 divided by negative 2 is positive 8. Therefore x is equal to 8. You can test it in the main equation to find out whether this statement is true. All right, for this one, we have seen that x is equal to 8. All right, the last one here, we have 125 to the power of x plus 1. And to the right, we have 25 to the power of x. 125 can be written as 5 power of 3. This is number 3. Because 5 times 5 is 25, 25 times 5 is 125. But we still have another power x plus 1. This is equal to, this can also be written as 5 raised to the power of 2. We have another power x. Now we have common basis. We can equate the powers together. 3 multiplied by x is 3x. 3 multiplied by 1 is 3. And to the right we have 2x. Bring this one backward and take this one to the right. 3x minus 2x if positive 2x crosses over. And if this crosses over, it becomes negative. This minus this is just x. And this is equal to negative 3. x is equal to negative 3 in this last problem here. Okay, now let us move on to the inequality. Okay, the first one here, number four. We have 
3 raised to the power of 4x plus 1 and that is greater than 9 to the power of x. So we want to find that value of x that will make that statement true. This is 3 power something. We can write 9 as 3 power something as well because 3 power 2 is equal to 9. So to the left hand side we have 3 raised to the power of 4x plus 1. This is greater than 3 raised to the power of 2 but we still have a power of x. Now we can relate the powers since we have common basis. 4x plus 1 must be greater than 2x. Bring this one backward and take positive 1 to the right. We have uh, 4x minus 2x greater than negative 1. This minus this is equal to 2. And this is equal to, okay, this is not equal to greater than negative 1. Divide both sides by 2. x is greater than negative 1 divided by 2. This is the right value of x. It means that x is greater than negative 1 over 2. You can even demonstrate this on a number line. We have 0 here, we have 1, we have 2. To the left hand side we have negative 1, we have negative 2. You know negative 1 over 2 will be halfway between 0 to negative 1. So this is negative 1 over 2. So what does this mean? It means x is greater than negative 1 over 2. So all these values to the right will satisfy that expiration. So we have a cycle here, a small cycle and an arrow here showing x is greater than negative 1 over 2. All right, let us take the next one. All right, number five. We already have common basis. We can just go direct and relate the powers. Number five, we have a 6x less than 4x minus 4. Bring this one here. We have 6x minus 4x less than negative 4. This minus this is 2x less than negative 4. If you divide both sides by 2, you have x less than negative 2. And you can also represent this on a number line. You have to locate negative 2 first. This is negative 2. So it means that x is less than this value. So we are talking about values to the left. All these negative integers that are less than negative 2. We have negative 3, we have negative 4, up to the negative infinity, excluding 2. So we have something like this. x is less than negative 2. Okay, let's talk about the last one here. We have 1 over 7 raised to the power of 3x plus 8. And that is less than or equal to 1 divided by 2401 raised to the power of x minus 5. What does this mean? It means that this expression to the left can either be equal to this or less than this, but it can never be greater than that. So we know that 7 to the power of 4 will give us this value. So to the left, we have 1 divided by 7 raised to the power of 3x plus 8 less than or equal to, we still have 1 divided by 7 raised to the power of 4x minus 20. I have multiplied x minus 5 with that 4 directly. So now we can just say this and this are related. We have 3x plus 8, that is less than or equal to 4x minus 20. Bring this one backward, we have a 3x minus 4x less than or equal to negative 20. If this one crosses over, we have negative 8. This minus this is negative x. Negative x less than or equal to negative 20. 
eat. We can now multiply both sides by negative 1 or divide both sides by negative 1 just to have our x here. So let me do it here. x will now be greater than or equal to 28. Why? Remember, if you multiply both sides by a negative number, the direction of inequality will change, definitely. So we can relate this one also under a number line. Let me do that. Suppose this is a number line. We have 0, 1, 2, dot, 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 up to 28, 29, 30, in that order. All right, what does this mean? It means that x is either equal to 28 or any other value greater than 28. In this case, we are going to form a solid cycle, solid not a cycle as we did initially. Then your arrow is looking this way. Then x greater or equal to 28. And hence, this is the solution to the last problem. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye bye.